Romance, anime, and manga is not something I'm fully into, honestly. While there's nothing wrong with enjoying it, it's just not something I love to immerse myself into. So please keep in mind that I haven't seen or read every story out there in this genre. But for the ones I've seen for the most part, they are kind of the same. There's a number of romance series that just concentrate on humorous and cute slash wholesome moments, maybe a potential unfortunate event that occurs and is resolved fairly quickly, and just one big game of will they won't they. Of course, there are series that do this pretty well, and fairly entertaining at that. Kaguya-sama and Rikikoi, Nagato Yuki-chan in real life, Achikochi and Kotoda-san. And then there are series that just don't handle this well, like, well, a lot of harem anime, honestly. And don't even get me started on the ones with incest. And despite the pretty typical formula of romance anime and manga, there are some that do try something different once in a while and flesh out the characters and story more in different ways. And you're most likely thinking about Toradora right now as one of them, which I do understand. And I love that series through and through, and I wouldn't be opposed to talking about my thoughts on it sometime later in the future. But I'd like to take this time to talk about an anime series that I honestly found really enjoyable to watch. A series that does something that I honestly don't see fairly often in romance anime and manga. <laughs> Say I Love You is a decent story about pointing out your flaws and trying to change for the better. It's one of those series that, to me at least, stuck out with how it handled both its main and its supporting characters each in different ways. Our main character, Mei Tachibana, is a high school girl with trust issues. She constantly prefers to be alone and despises socializing with others. She gets the attention of the school's most popular student, Yamato Kurosawa, a ladies man, by a kick off the staircase. He's rather the polar opposite of Mei fairly trusting and prefers to be around others and socializing. The story here is centered around the two getting to know each other and even attempting to change for the better, which is actually really nice. The usual romance story, in terms of development at least, would essentially be either one or the other main characters having personal issues and the other being there to help them for the better. But here, while it's not at the same time exactly, both Mei and Yamato each have flaws and personal issues that they have to address and decide on how they want to change going forward. As I've mentioned, Mei has trust issues. Her past has led her to believe that everyone in time will turn on one another. But after meeting Yamato, she begins opening up slowly to others, eventually having others to be around she can actually trust. And Yamato is quite sociable with others, being nice to everyone around him and even kissing other girls. However, despite wanting to be in a serious relationship with Mei, he doesn't exactly grasp how his actions, especially around other girls both in the past and present, are incredibly problematic, such as kissing other girls he's nice to or even sleeping with one. Now, full disclaimer. I am not an expert on romance. I've never really been in a serious relationship with another girl, honestly. So understand that much of what I'm about to say is my own personal opinion from a third-person perspective, more or less. So please don't think that I know exactly what I'm talking about or I'm in, not in any way wrong. So with all that said, even though I don't know everything about this matter, I am indeed certain that whether or not it's an intimate, platonic, or even familiar relationship, the most important thing that makes two people have a strong connection is trust. Of course, there are other factors that play a large part in it, but without trust in one another, it can all fall apart. This is something that Say I Love You tackles fairly well, with Mei trying to be able to trust others, and Yamato trying to understand the value of trust in a romantic relationship. Words and actions only have so much value, and after some time they can lose value and the trust that was established begins to weaken. Yamato's caring personality and open-hearted tendencies are shown to be good for Mei's more nihilistic mentality towards others, and while he's not a bad guy per se, his tendencies when it comes to being in a committed relationship, such as nice and flattering words slash actions around other girls, can make him seem fairly untrustworthy. The fact that both characters are imperfect in their own ways and need to work on themselves to better themselves is quite nice to watch. Despite how I was talking about him, it is evident that Yamato means well in the series, but he also has his flaws. And this series does a good job of bringing up characters' flaws and issues, and discussing ways that the characters can better themselves. This is a good romance series to get into, and I honestly recommend anybody interested in it or the romance genre to take a look. If there's anything going for Say I Love You, 
but Zed has a pretty decent way of addressing the fact that nobody is perfect.